What's up, everybody? I'd like to chat to you today about a phrase by one of my favorite drummers, Kenny Washington. Kenny is an absolute living legend of our music. He's played on hundreds, if not thousands, of records. He's been particularly prolific on the Crisscross jazz label, which has a great website that's all cross-referenced. So you can click on an album, see the people who have played on that album, and click on each of their names, and it'll show you all the other albums that they've played on. So it's a really fun website to check out. And as I said, Kenny has done a lot of records on the Crisscross label. So I'll put a link to the Crisscross website in the uh, description below this video so you can go over there and check it out and start digging into Kenny's music if you haven't already. Uh, but in terms of today's phrase, this is a phrase that Kenny plays that's based on an inverted roll. Now, if you've never heard of an inverted roll, there's really not much to it. It just means that we're playing a regular double stroke roll, but we're playing it on the upbeats rather than the downbeats. So our kind of bog standard double stroke roll would sound like this. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, one, two, three, four. So the first note of every double stroke falls on the downbeat. In an inverted roll, the first note of every double stroke just moves over to the upbeat. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Now, if you have trouble getting in on the and of one, you can always practice by just playing a single stroke first. That's how a lot of people start to learn the inverted roll. One, and two, and three, and four, and one but starting right on the and of one is actually how Kenny does it. He plays on that syncopated side of the beat. There's nothing on beat one, and it, um, it just gives it a really cool feel. So Kenny plays this typically uh, of one length, which is just about two bars, because he goes around the drums. We're gonna take it over to the kit in a minute, and we'll check that out. But he basically plays from the and of one of the first bar to the and of three of the bar following it. Two three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and. Now I played that and of three here on the side of my pad because Kenny plays that note on his bass drum. So he starts the phrase on the upbeat and he ends the phrase on, on the upbeat, on the and of three. Two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and. Also, sometimes Kenny will add another upbeat on the and of four, and sometimes he'll also double that with a crash cymbal or a ride cymbal. It's a nice way to kind of finish off the phrase, finish off those whole two bars, like this. Two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. So a little bit faster, which is how Kenny usually plays it. It sounds like this. One, two, a one, two, three, four, one. One, two, a one, two, three, four, one. So like I said, Kenny, gen Kenny generally starts this on the and of one, and it works out quite, quite square. It takes up two bars, and it's a great way to sort of launch in to uh, a section of, of trading or solos, and it's a great way to come out of it as well. But we can really put this on the upbeat of any beat. It works really well if you start on the and of two, uh, because then that single bass drum note at the end is on the end of four, so it's a nice way to kind of come down around the drums and finish off your phrase on the end of four. But like I said, you can really put that anywhere in the bar on the upbeat of any, uh, of any beat. So why don't we take that over to the kit now and try some of these out and see what they sound like.
And that's all there is to it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Do uh, play around with it, get creative with it, kind of play the lick and then improvise after it or improvise before it and use that phrase to sort of come out of your improvising section and just get creative and place it in different parts of the bar and see what you come up with. Um, if you have any questions or requests for future videos, drop me a comment down below. I'm really hoping to kind of interact with you guys a little bit more and I uh, hope to see you next time. Thanks very much.